What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Here is a brand new exciting update we have received for One Hand Operation Plus application from Samsung. This is an incredible app which enables us to control the phone or tablet more easily with just one hand. This is a must have application for all those Samsung Galaxy phone users as well as tablet users out there. We can just fly from the left or right in different directions to execute some functions which is very very convenient. Now for this app we have received a brand new update and this adds a very cool new feature. As you can see the version number is 6.4.25.0 and the change log says new feature quick launcher added then we have some fixes here fix that does not work when editing photos videos added video photo editor app settings in app exceptions then fixed quick toolbar previous next song actions during gameplay and other stability improvements the most exciting point here on this change log is the first one that is the new feature quick launcher added let me first talk about this and then we will check out briefly on the other fixes let me open one hand operation plus application as you can see we have got a toggle to turn this on then we have left handle right handle inside which we can select different functions for different kind of swipe actions now let me just select left handle here here we have short swipe, long swipe options. Let me just pick one of them here. I'll select diagonal down under short swipe. Now these functions or these actions are going to be same for all different kinds of swipe. We have selected diagonal down. Now let me just scroll all the way down here. As you can see here, we have got an all new option called quick launcher. This wasn't there in the previous version. With this all new update, we have got this brand new quick launcher option, which is cool. Now let's see how does this work. Now I have selected quick launcher here. Let me tap on this settings icon. On the top we have got this toggle. It says start actions before you release your finger from the screen. Then we have number of page columns. We've got two columns, three columns or four columns. Now let me select two columns here. Since we have selected diagonal down for this action, let me execute this action. Let's go to the home screen. I just swipe down from the left. You see we have got this cool new quick launcher option with all these applications. And we can add or delete applications on this list. As soon as you execute this action, this quick launcher will pop up briefly and then it disappears. Now let's go back to the settings again. I will select three columns. This is how the three columns would look. Now let me show you four columns as well. This is the four columns. Now uh, here we have got an icon, the settings icon when you open this quick launcher. Let me tap on this. This is where we can add or delete the applications. As you can see, we have got a small capsule here in which we have got these options. I got this plus button to add more pages and I can tap on this minus button to delete that particular page. And we have got this folder option also. We can easily create a folder inside which we can place these applications. Let me show you how to do that. I will tap on folder and add this folder here. Now I'll go back and open the quick launcher again and tap on this new folder which I've just created. Now here you can see the folder is empty and we have got this icon here. This will take us to the app selection menu. Here we can select the applications we want which will be automatically placed into that particular folder. Let me pick a couple of apps here. On the top it says add it successfully. Now as you can see inside this quick launcher menu we have got this all new folder as well which we have just created. That is just so cool and this has taken the one hand operation plus application to the next level. We can create a quick launcher with a bunch of preferred applications which can be accessed by using a swipe gesture. Now here inside this particular uh, quick launcher menu we can't really press and hold the applications and uh, move them around. If you want to edit it you will have to tap on this icon and then only you will be able to edit the icons inside this quick launcher menu. All in all it's a fantastic feature which has been added. Uh, let's go back to the change log. It says fix that does not work when editing photos videos. Now the one hand operation plus gestures will work even while editing photos or videos. And if you don't want that to work they have added video photo editor app settings in app exceptions. As you can see in the third point the same thing is mentioned. Let me show you where is this app exception. Let me open one hand operation plus app. Let me open advanced settings here. On the top you will see app exceptions. I will tap on this. Now on this list you can choose the applications where the gesture handles won't be shown and gesture won't be recognized. And here video and photo options have been added so that if you don't want the gesture handles to be shown on the screen or if you don't want it to work 
while using any particular applications, you can disable it right here on this menu. And then it says fix quick toolbar previous next song action during gameplay. So this fix is for uh, the gameplay. And then we have got other stability improvements with this all new update. This is a pretty cool update indeed. And the quick launcher is something a lot of you might use if you want to set a group of applications which can be accessed separately by using the swipe gesture. Now, of course, we can create folders on the home screen. We have got an edge panel option. And now we have got this quick launcher option using one hand operation plus. All these serve the same purpose. However, the usability or execution is subjective. You can use the one you want. If you want to use the edge panel, you can use it. If you want to just use the home screen only, then you can use home screen. And if you want to keep the home screen clutter free and have a group of applications which can be accessed using the swipe gesture, you can use one hand operation plus, which now offers this feature. Each to their own and that is the beauty of Samsung Galaxy phones. Tons of possibilities and pick the possibility that you want. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you're new here and if you want to know your phone better, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this information useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.